Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island for more point and click adventure game action. We are right back where we left off, at the crossroads in, well what I'm assuming is the afterlife, it certainly seems like the afterlife after LeChuck killed Guybrush a couple of episodes ago. And um, we've bumped into this guy, Galeb, who seems to know stuff but also not know stuff. And now we've got to find out how to get the hell out of here. Um, I don't know what this is. We didn't try this in the last one, so this let's see what it does. This center of the crossroads. Yes, this is the point at which every soul must choose their ultimate pirate path. You may choose sword mastery, thievery, or treasure hunter -ry. <laughs> Treasure hunter E. Okay, so we have to choose a path then. Can we do that now, or do we have to... Looks like we have to do that some point down the road. Um, in the last one we figured out we could go to different places as well. We haven't been there yet. Uh, the gateway is where we have been. Up here is the sword fight, the treasure hunt, and the thieves den. Right, okay, so it seems like each of these is a path. And then we come back. I like the traffic lights down there as well. Uh, should we go to sword fight first, seeing as it's the, the top one? It didn't take very long, did it? Uh, there's some lights and stuff here, a mast, and some long pathway up some stairs. There's also some shipwrecks here, a headless person by the looks of things. Oh, we can climb up this. Taking his time. <laughs> Crawling now. Oh, it's Morgan! Morgan? Ahoy, matey! I see another swordsman be coming to challenge me for entrance into an afterlife full of sword play and swashbuckling. Very well. Maybe. Let's test your wit. Thank goodness you're all right! Hey, I be talking to you! No, talking I'm not all right. I'm dead. Apparently you are too. Now go away. Well, you'll be happy to know that I obliterated your murderer. You destroyed Literally. the truck? What? Death must have uh, scrambled what? United. LeChuck killed me. DeSinge killed you. Ah, uh, hello. Sword Fighter looking for her as well. challenge over here. DeSinge? But you said... That's just great. My one shot at redeeming myself, and Mr. Mighty Pirate can't be bothered to properly listen to my death rattles. But... <laughs> and on top of that, he sullies my reputation as a kick-butt pirate hunter by insinuating that I couldn't beat a wimp-wristed, wig-wearing sissy boy like DeSinge with two arms tied behind my back! Sorry? God, I'm depressed. Look, I'm not planning on sticking around this land of the creepy. I got unfinished business with a chuck, and my wife is still in danger. I'm probably gonna need some help getting out of here, and you are my only friend. Forget it. I'm a worthless, backstabbing traitor with poor communication skills. I don't even deserve to be your friend. Hmm, this might be tricky. No one cares about you, head. Fight back in you. Come on, grab your sword and fight me. No, I won't fight an unarmed man. I be armed. Fight me. Fight me. Well, I'm not done with you. He's yet, definitely baby. keen. I'll be back. <sighs> Fine. I'll just wait over here then. So it looks like we're gonna have to fight Morgan. Um, I don't know why I didn't think that we could run into Morgan here. Actually, um, being that she's why dead. Why you fight me? What's the point? You don't even have a sword. I still have my razor sharp wit. Great, use it on that guy. He seems to want to fight. All right, we're gonna have to talk to this guy. I'm guessing. What the hell? Uh, it's a ghostly sword, a sword fighter, and that's the way down. I'm guessing. Uh, can we get the ghostly sword? Pardon me, mind if I borrow this? Hey, you can indeed. Chuck stuck that in me for a reason, you know. Let Chuck. Ah. He came back after me and me mate stole some gold turtle from him. He chopped off me head <gasps> and asked me to hold that for him. In your decapitated head. Gold turtle. Yeah. Oh, he just wanted to kill me, huh? That'd be my guess. Aye, that makes sense. <laughs> Should we talk to this guy then? Come to test your steel and wits against me, lad. Well, I hope you have sharpened both, cause I'm about to- No thanks. How long has Morgan been sitting there? I uh, can't say for sure. She's been here since before LeChuck did me in, that's for certain. Just sitting there. Oh. She won't even insult sword fight me. Every time I toss out a taunt, she just agrees with me. So LeChuck came back here again for some Come reason. On. Why won't you fight me? What's the point? 
I mean, I've got a sword now. Do you want to fight? On your feet, Mo. Fine. Yes. Now we're talking. I'm getting in on this action. No, I you died of go failure. away. I used to dream that somebody would call me the greatest pirate hunter in the world. You make me want to puke. <laughs> it's like insult sword fighting, but gone weird. Uh, uh, don't even say that. I might start vomiting too. Well, I think you did a darn good job. I bet people say that about you all the time. Wait, I got confused. Can you two say that again? Uh, there was one about vomiting, so I'm guessing we go for that one. Oh, don't even say that. I might start vomiting too. Yeah, sometimes I make myself sick. No, I was talking to- Forget it. I'm useless. Oh, so maybe it's not like him sword fighting them. Maybe we've got to do the opposite. Fine. Yes. We've got to unlearn everything we have learned. Useless. I can barely even lift my sword. There certainly is a foul smell coming from this fight. Uh, see, in some ways you are stronger than me. You could probably beat me without lifting a finger. Are you saying that you stink? Because I would have to agree. Uh, I guess this one. See, in some ways you are stronger than me. Yeah. Right, I so we've got. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. It's hopeless. I can't believe I once studied under the greatest swordsman in the Caribbean. Uh, well, dogs are very smart creatures. He must have taught you everything you know. Well, that explains your free your flea problem. You're an amazingly skilled sword fighter. You were an amazingly skilled sword fighter. You call that an insult? Ha! That'd be a poor insult. What? No, I thought I was talking to the lady. I even that would have been a better comeback. But it's too late now. I win. But if he's the winner, then I must be the loser. Oh. So it appears that if if he delivers the insult to begin with, we have to insult back. But if uh, Morgan says low. it, then we have Fine. to say something nice. Yes, now we're talking. I'm getting in on this action. Some my sort of weird. My career as a pirate hunter was about as successful as my career as a marathon runner. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. Uh, your career is brilliant. That's probably because you always back down. You run that fast. Your career is brilliant. Your name is feared throughout the Caribbean. Well, I suppose that is true. That insult be a weak one indeed. What? I win. Oh. <laughs> I am so confused. Do we? Sangha. Okay, there's obviously something I'm missing Fine. here. Fine. Yes. Smaller men quiver at my unmistakably masculine swagger. The way I wave this sword around, it's like I'm a little boy. Uh, trust me, you're no little boy. Believe me, you're a woman. Oh, is that why you walk that way? I thought it was just gas. Let's try that. Is that why you walk that way? I thought it was just gas. <sighs> uh, so why did that... On. I do Why not get it. Me? What's the point? So it looks like we've got to come uh, get a comeback go. for both of them. Fine. Yes. Now we're talking. But how the hell I'm do we do that? <laughs> Smaller men quiver at my unmistakably masculine swagger. The way I wave this sword around, it's like I'm a little boy. Uh, trust me, you are no little boy. Believe me, you're all woman. Uh, no little boy? Trust me, you are no little boy. That's the best you've got. That insult be a weak one indeed. I win. Oh. Oh, that didn't go very well. I'm missing something. So you're ready to fight, eh? I am, but not with you. I just want to say thanks for the sword. So, thanks. Hmm. Oh. So... We've got to find a comeback to his insult. Fine. Yes. But at the same time, not insult. I can barely even lift my sword. There certainly is a foul smell coming from this fight. Um, oh, come on, that's probably just you. See, in some ways you are stronger than me. You could probably beat me without lifting a finger. It's that one, isn't it? In some ways you are stronger than me. Yeah, see, that works. 
I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. It's hopeless. I can't believe I once studied under the greatest swordsman in the Caribbean. Uh, well, dogs are very smart creatures. Well, that explains your flea problem. You're an amazingly skilled sword fighter. He must have taught you everything you know. I reckon he it's that one. He must have taught you everything you know. Yep. My career as a pirate hunter was about as successful as my career as a marathon runner. Nobody's right. ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. You run that fast? I reckon it's you run that fast. Let's try you run it. run that fast? Yep. Okay. I think I'm getting the hang of it. You know what? You're right. I was a darn good pirate hunter. Sure, I made a couple of bad decisions, and my enunciations could apparently use some work, but as long as we are both here in the crossroads, <laughs> I can still make it up to you. You can't match my witty repartee. I could if you would use some press spray. Yay, Morgan's back. Wow, I didn't think that you had it in your lass. Now my head and I can move on, and you can be the guardian. You just have to stay here ah, until she's someone gonna be the comes guardian. and challenges you. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Well, you deal with that on your time. I'm off to battle on the endless seas of Davy Jones' locker. You know what? I think I will stay here and challenge the weak and unworthy for a while. I knew Go you for had it. in you, Mo. Listen, I am sorry for the way I betrayed you. If there is any way I can help you, just ask. Well, uh, I guess we'll ask. Hey, you. What's up? Uh, I have an idea of how to get out here. I have an idea how to get out of here. Guybrush, forget it. We're dead. Yeah, but LeChuck was once able to escape using a voodoo spell. I just need to find it. Really? There's a chance I can return to the living world and continue to take down pirates? Present mm. company excluded, of course. Seems that way. Well, if I can help in any way, let me know. I don't know if it applies to her. Um, are you sure it wasn't DeSange who killed you? Are you sure it wasn't DeSange who killed you? You sure acted guilty. Didn't you pay any attention to my dying words? I clearly said, don't trust LeChuck. He's hypnotized a bunch of monkeys and ran oh me my. through with my own blade. That's weird. I heard you say, DeSinge is a schmuck. When he got thirsty, he killed me for some lemonade. In my defense, it should be noted that you were coughing up a lot of blood at the time, so something may have gotten lost in the translation. Yeah. I wonder if LeChuck put some sort of spell on her so that she couldn't warn him. It's possible, right? You've earned a trophy. Say what? Okay, did Galeb try to sell you a spirit photo too? Did Galeb try to sell you a picture of your spirit at the crossroads too? He tried, but I don't like people taking pictures of me. It's bad for my business. Sounds like he got his camera fixed by the time you got here though. Uh, when you crossed over, did you have a shred of life too? Hey, when you crossed over, were you still clinging to a shred of life too? Shred of life? No. But I guess it makes sense for you, considering everything you left behind. Uh, what was important to you when you were alive? What would you say was the most important thing to you when you were alive? My independence, probably. I liked being my own woman. Still do. So she can kind of be independent here, though. Uh, okay, don't run off. Don't run off. I don't think I'm allowed to. So let's go back down. I guess that's what we needed gear. to do here. I'll be back. We didn't really get anything for doing that, though. I mean, we helped. Morgan with her problems, and she seems to have refound her old self, but we didn't really actually get anything from being here as far as I can tell. So should we try heading off to Thebes then next? I'm guessing there's probably going to be a puzzle at each of these then, and we're going to have to solve it. I wonder what Thebes then is about. Ooh, who's this? Fellow thief. You are a thief, aren't you? Of course. Uh, yeah. You wouldn't be here if you weren't, am I right? Of course uh, yeah, I'm a you're right. Excellent. Make yourself at home. Feel free to look around. We have many valuable stolen items here. Where's his hands? I keep them around as trophies. Ooh, I wonder if they were chopped off as punishment for thieving, because that used to actually be a thing, didn't it? I wonder what this would feel like in my pocket. I don't know. What? Pile of urns. urns. You know, for a That's disturbing weird. minute. I have a nagging urge to smash these. I wouldn't do that, friend. Why not? What do you mean, why not? Because it's rude. Right. 
of course. That's kind of true. <laughs> I mean, he clearly doesn't know who we are. Autographed sextants. Hey, nice. I had a collection of autographed sextants too. Do you have a Vasco da Lama? Ah, <laughs> I'm sure that I do. Wow, what a coincidence. <gasps> Did he steal it from us? Hmm. Possibly. Um, what else do we have here? A globe? A chair? What's the story behind this? I lifted that right out of the pocket of Betsy Bilgewater. Stealing that was easy. Trying to steal a kiss got me a swift kick to the boys. Yikes! <laughs> right, what's I'll the chair? To steal this. Funny story. I was running a con on Dead Eye Drake, trying to get at his collection of gold cannonballs. When he hauls out this thing and asked if he can have it shipped back home, <laughs> I even charged him three hundred pieces of eight to do it. Oh, how you that guy survived scumbag. as a pirate for more than two years is beyond me. <laughs> wow! This guy seems like he's a pretty cool thief. Pretty hey, good at it. What's in this thing? That? Oh, that's a secret. Oh, <gasps> what kind of secret? If I knew that, it wouldn't be a secret. Is it the secret of Monkey Island? Hey, what's in this thing? That? Ooh, maybe it oh. is. That's a secret. Maybe we're finally going to find out oh, the secret of Monkey Island. Secret? If I knew that, it wouldn't be a secret. Can we open it up with the Shred of Life? This is the last remnant no. of my corporeal self. I shouldn't monkey around with it. What's he drinking? This is nice. Pretty cool rug. Where'd you get this from? Ah, that I stole from Captain Bloodbeard himself. Just after his crew mutinied and made him walk the plank. From the crow's nest. Whoa. Oh. Okay, uh, what's the deal with these scales? Ooh, shiny. Pile of scrolls? Ooh, scrolls, parchments, and maps! Winslow would be so happy. <laughs> oh yeah, Winslow. Pile of peg legs. Peg legs? How did he manage to steal all of these without the wearers noticing? That's a good point. Uh, tombstone. Wow, you stole this? Actually, that was already there when I got here. Hmm. Huh. Fair enough. So whose tomb is that? Ooh, I wonder if it's LeChuck's. I wonder if LeChuck's body's in there. What's the deal with this thing? Ah, that's an old one, friend. They say that toe juice encrusted sock was once worn by LeChuck himself. Toe juice. The thief who stole it claimed he slipped it right off the zombie pirate's oozing undead foot without being noticed. Funny how he showed up here in the afterlife, still clutching the sock in his fist. Wow. And who was that? You mind if I uh, steal it? Actually, I'd prefer you just take that one. It's really starting to stink up the place. Okay, that'll take. Hmm. I do wonder if this is LeChuck's tomb. Wow! You stole. It this? might not be. Actually, that was already there when I got here. Hmm. Fair enough. So it looks like we've looked at everything here. Let's try talking to this dude then. He's just called Thief. I what the secret me. is. What is it, friend? Uh, what are all these things? What are all these things? Those are the things I have stolen from the poor, unsuspecting pirates passing through. Some real gems there, huh? Uh, I'm sorry. What was that you said? Um, uh, I didn't huh? say anything. Are you sure? I thought you might have said there was something behind me. There's a uh, three-headed monkey? There is. Well... I'd better turn around and look at it. Do we nah, take the what? secret? Secrets aren't meant to be stolen. Over here. This is nice. Where'd what do we take from? while he's uh, looking the other way? That I stole from Captain Bloodbeard himself, just after his crew mutinied and made him walk the plank from the crow's nest. Oh. So we're gonna have to. Why I don't see oh, sextants ready here. to be stolen. I hate to be a bad host, but. I'm afraid you have got to be moving on. Oh, okay then. I can't have this place full huh? of thieves all the time, or people will stop coming in, you know what I mean? Well, thank you for being so accommodating. Speak nothing of it, friend. Feel free to come back at a later time. Weird. Uh, okay, let's go back to the center, I guess. Did we actually take those things? No, we didn't. The Let's look sock at this. of LeChuck. 
It has the fetid stench of an undead athlete's foot. That's disgusting. So can we go back to him now? It seemed like he wanted us to steal something, but then when we did, Welcome he back, kicked us out. Friend. Something weird going on here, isn't there? What's that gold thing on there? It doesn't look like we can steal that, but it looks like something we'd want to steal. Uh, why can't I select? Oh, there we go, thief. Excuse me. What is it, friend? Um, what happened to your hands? What happened to your hands? LeChuck happened to them. I guess he still held ah. a grudge from when we stole the summoning turtle from him when he was human. He came back and slaughtered us all. Hmm. Doesn't having no hands get in the way of your thievery? Doesn't having no hands get in the way of your thievery? Not if you're good. I can lift a wallet with my teeth. Crack a safe with my toes and loot an entire treasure hold using just my uh, cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what kind of thievery skills do you have? So, what kind of thievery skills do you have? The usual, friend: pickpocketing, lockpicking, safe cracking, and creating right. artificial buying pressure for a generally low trading volume issuer in the over-the-counter securities market. Yeah. Okay. Me too. <laughs> Did you steal everything in here? Did you steal everything in here? Most of it, friend. Uh, would you mind looking the other would way you mind, again? Uh, looking behind you again? There's something behind me, you say? Hmm. Better have a look. So. Why? I don't see oh, anything there. over here. So we've obviously got to take Are you something. Sure you meant behind me? Yoink. I hate to be a bad host, but I'm afraid you have got to be moving on. Oh, there's definitely okay, something then. we need to steal, isn't there? Question is, what is it? Till next time, friend. Let's see if we manage to steal that one this time. Let's go back to crossroads again. No, we didn't. So, we've got to take something, but nothing's happened here. <laughs> that putrid smell is so familiar. Yuck. What? Oh, that's the Chuck's So, he recognizes the song. I guess it is pretty rotten. Sorry. Can we not talk Excuse to him? Then? Oh, no, we can. I have a few questions for you. What's on your mind, Threepwood? Uh, no, there's, why did you say the spell what was? What happened to the spell that Chuck used to return to the land of the not dead? Some say it is locked away in a vile treasure chest and hidden somewhere in the crossroads, but no one knows for sure. Somewhere in the crossroads. I wonder if it is under that tombstone. That would make sense that he would hide it in his grave, right? That's my initial sure, feeling with not? this. Hmm. Okay, so. We've made progress. Um, I'm not really sure what we've got to do at the thieves' place, but we'll um, figure that out. And we'll go to the next place as well, the one we haven't been to yet. But we'll do that in the next episode, because we are out of time. Um, I'm really enjoying this chapter so far. I think it's really good. It's got, to me a real Curse of Monkey Island feel to it, and I'm not really sure why that is. But it just really reminds me of Curse, um, and that can only be a good thing, really. Um, so yeah, can't wait to play more. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.